Hello everyone, I'm here in Florida for medical treatments. If you're curious as to what the treatments are for, please check out the video on my channel entitled Who Am I? It's my channel trailer. But with that being said, I've had to resort to uploading pre-recorded videos, those videos being quite old. In fact, actually haven't been recorded last year and having been some of the first videos I ever recorded. So the quality may be lower in terms of the audio and the video, but they still are quality in terms of the content. So with that being said, I just wanted to give that heads up and let's get right into the video. Hello everyone, we're back again with another critique video, very short one. Today on the channel is Dave Asprey. You may know Dave Asprey is the founder of Bulletproof Coffee. Now, a few books like Work Smarter, Not Harder. He's a health influencer and has been for actually quite a few years. 805,000 followers on Instagram. He is the founder of biohacking, self-proclaimed. But anyway, he's very, very arrogant, very pompous, complacent, actually, is really the word that I should be using here. But I'm not really going to dwell on that. We're just going to look at what he says, because it doesn't really matter what these people's backgrounds are. Let's look at what they say and see if it's actually of veracity. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. As you guys should know by now, no supplements need to be taken on a carnivore diet as you can derive everything you need from such a diet. However, this does not mean that there aren't certain nutraceuticals that can be taken to further ameliorate inflammation and subsequently any illness, disorder, and or disease someone may be plagued with. One of the best products on the market, if not the best product in doing such a thing, is the flagship product to a company known as Cerule, known as Stem Enhance Ultra, which effectuates the release of one's own inherent stem cells from their bone marrow. When this occurs, this results in what may be perceived by some to be the epitome of regeneration. Now, I cannot under any circumstances claim any cause and effect relationships from this product and any heart health outcome. However, one may speculate what they wish with this information. If you want to know more about this product or are interested in buying this product, as well as many others from the Cerule company, refer to the link on the screen now or the description below. Coffee versus water. People keep telling me, but Dave, coffee dehydrates you. Not yeah, it does. It's a natural diuretic. According to a 2014 study of 50 men. 50 men, N of 50. Wow. Vast amount of statistical significance there. Also, just use the word study and then therefore your point's proven. Let's get into this. No evidence of dehydration with moderate daily coffee intake. How long did the study last? Are you going to tell us? Four cups of coffee every day. No, that's what they reported to have consumed is four cups of coffee every single day. Also, is it a metric cup? How much were the servings? How significant of the bolus of coffee, let's say, was there? Water for three days. They did. Okay, so actually they had both at the same time. Were they split into multiple groups? Or were all 50 men doing the same thing? I assume the latter. Doesn't make a difference though. Completely vapid, completely insignificant. False. In the extreme. To say that absolutely unequivocally, coffee does not dehydrate you. Because a 2014 study of 50 men over the course of how long? Seemed to have presented with the same hydration status. Which I assume is what you're actually going to say. Crossover design study, which means that they were looking to see the same exact person, whether water or coffee made a difference. There could okay. You cannot establish for a fact if there was a difference or not a difference by looking at the same person if they consumed different things and did different things on the given days that they consumed each drink or each beverage. No control exerted here. It's based on respondent data. This is vapid. I always use that word. Maybe I should put that on a shirt too. Vapid. And was that coffee consumed in moderation? What is in moderation? One to three cups a day? Okay, metric cups? Is it metric cups? Three cups a day provides similar hydrating qualities to water. Now this- You can't establish that. It seemed to have done that. This is an association, an insignificant, negligible one at that, considering the fact that the sample size was 50, limiting its statistical power vastly. And again, how long was the study done for? Because caffeine itself is such a weak diuretic that the benefits of the water that's in the coffee already help. But what if you did danger coffee that has electrolytes that- Ah, product plug. Now it makes sense. Danger coffee is coffee that Dave made that is mycotoxin free, which is, that's a good thing. And also contains electrolytes lights and minerals because of the fact that it depletes your body, coffee, of nutrients, of those nutrients. So he wants to say that caffeine is such a weak diuretic, then why are you selling a product that is fortified with minerals? Because if it was such a weak diuretic, you wouldn't need to do that with your coffee, would you? Increase hydration in it. Well, it's going to be at least as good as the study, you would assume. And what about plain old water? Well, plain old water isn't very hydrating either unless you add electrolytes to it. 
Do you hear what's happening right now? Do you hear what is being said? This reminds me of when Greg Doucette said that Diet Pepsi, Diet Soda, was better than water. That's right. Diet Pop is healthier than water. Heard it here first. Diet Pop, healthier than water. Can you believe it? Coffee's better than water, folks. Drink your coffee. You know, many people have had to give up coffee because of the fact that, first of all, caffeine is addictive, the way that it affects your physiology, but also it was raising their blood pressure quite significantly because of caffeine, a drug. So I think you should count your coffee as part of your fluid intake because that's what the science says. No, that's what the science says. Yep, yeah, so Dave just used the most trite, banal, insipid, overly abused line in all of mainstream health science. Science says, when have we heard that be used responsibly within the last few years, especially within the last three? <laughs> Absolutely shameful, ridiculous. Is that it? Is that all? I really hope so. That is, that's all. Okay, great, fantastic. Anyway, if you follow Dave Asprey, I would suggest very quickly unfollowing him because he is all over the place. He's completely inconsistent. And also he seriously is saying right now, really what he's saying is drink coffee and water, but count your coffee as just as good as water. The sad part is that Dave has heard of plant toxins, but he decides to advocate for coffee anyway, which is full of polyphenols that he touts as being beneficial. They're not. Many polyphenols, most of them are deleterious within the body. Many function as phytoestrogens, others damage DNA, like curcumin. Anyway, we're, we're done here. Dave, seriously, stop it. Seriously. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, comment your thoughts below, buy my book, Contraindicated, linked below, so you don't have to watch my videos ever again, because you'll have all the knowledge up in your head. If you want me to react to more of these videos, please email me some. I find some on my own as well, but it would help me out if you email me some. Email is linked below as well. Subscribe to the Patreon for extended cuts, ad-free cuts, and also so that you can see the studies that I cite on the screen, because on YouTube, I blur those. And with that being said, I will see you next time when we decide to critique someone else that may be as bad as Dave. I'm not sure that that's a feat that's difficult to achieve. I'll see you then.